Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your Windows computer. This says Windows has stopped this device because it has reported problems, error code 43. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend trying here would be to open up the start menu, type in device manager, Best result, should come back with device manager listed right above control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to go expand the universal serial bus controller section at the bottom, double click on it. And then wherever you see generic USB hub, you want to go ahead and right click on it and then update. Again, only do that for generic drivers, which we don't have any here, but just if you did, you'd right click on it. Select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Go ahead and select that. Select Next. And then you want to go ahead and click on Close. So again, hopefully it would have resolved the problem if you were using that, if you had a generic driver in there. Something else we can try here, there's actually going to be several potential fixes in today's tutorial here, so there's going to be a lot to go through. Another thing we can do is open up File Explorer, so if you have the icon down in the taskbar, and go ahead and select this PC on the left side. Right click on the local drive where Windows is installed on, and then select where it says Properties. Select the Tools tab, and then underneath Error Checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the Check button. Select the Scan Drive. Okay, it says it was successfully scanned, no errors are found, which is good. We're going to go ahead and click on close. If there were, we would have to restart our computer and let it finish up. But otherwise, it sounds like we're good on that front. Another thing we're going to do, actually two more things in Device Manager. So we're going to head back over to the Star menu, and we're going to go ahead and open up Device Manager here. We're going to first expand the Display Adapter section here. Right click on whatever display adapter is listed under there and select properties. Select the driver tab and then select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. Again, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. If you have a manufacturer specific one, I recommend going with it. Otherwise, you can use a generic driver if there's only one option available. Select next. And then click on close. And then we also want to go back down to our USB devices here. So another thing we're going to do is go through the USB devices down here, just double click on them. You want to look for something that says power management, so there should be a power management tab. If you don't see one, just go on to the next one, I guess, so just keep going through the list here. And you see we have one that has power management. You want to uncheck where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Go ahead and select OK. Again, then just keep going through the rest of them here. So power management, we're going to uncheck those options whenever they are applicable. And then we're going to select OK. And then we're going to close out of here. Restart your device, see if that's resolved the problem. One further thing you can try here, if you do still have problems, you can try doing the system restore. But besides that, hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So, 
I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.